the best hunter valley 10 people killed in wedding crash in australia you guys riding on this motherfucking bus here and it overturned late on sunday you know it's another story by af walsh at least 10 people have died and more than 20 others are in the hospital after a wedding bus crash in australia wine region passengers were returning from a wedding at a winery on sunday night when their coach overturned on Juan County Drive near Greta in Hunter Valley, New South Wales. So these people have been out partying, dancing, DJ was spinning that shit. And then all of a sudden, the motherfucking bus turned over. Police say they are investigating the circumstances around the crash. The driver of the bus, 58-year-old man, has been arrested. Oh, yeah, you already know that was happening, buddy. They ain't trying to hear none of that. All right, let's see who is that. Police acting assistant commissioner Tracy Chapman said guests were traveling to Singleton, uh, presumably for their accommodations to get some rest. There, yeah, it was late. It was, yeah, this was late at night. Crash occurred at 2300. Uh, the bus rolled over while making a, a turn at a roundabout off a highway. Number of fatalities could increase with 25 people taken to hospital. Two of them airlifted from the crash, Mrs. Chapman said. She added that the bus is still on its side and people could be trapped underneath and a crane will be brought to the scene at some stage to lift the bus. So that kind of showed me that they don't have no ETA or even lifting this bus up to see if it's people bodies that may have flown, you know, that may have went out of the, a window or something and got crushed by the actual um, bus. This is terrible. Miss Chapman said that there was significant amount of information for the police to charge the coach driver who had also who was also sent to the hospital and treated for minor injuries. He's under arrest. He's been the driver of a motor vehicle collision where there have been fatalities, uh, fatal injuries, and there will be charges pending, she added. She also said there have been heavy fog in the area around the time of the crash. So, like, you're throwing some bail right there in the same sentence that you're saying while he's arrested. Uh, Australian Prime Minister said uh, it is so cruel, so sad, so uh, and so unfair and let's see, for a joyous day in a beautiful place like that to end with such terrible loss of life. Yeah, those people probably was from the community, uh, out of town. People say, yo, what's the safe route we can go so everybody, you know, people start thinking when you get in these real, you know, in these days, like how can people come enjoy yourself at our shit, go home safe, and this is what they thought was the good idea, and it ended up with um, people losing their life. Uh, they said that uh, some of the injured people are at John Hunter Hospital, but many have been flown to Sydney. Um, for me to see, uh, they said the loss of so many lives was nothing short of heartbreaking for this horrible crash to occur on a day that should be filled with love and happiness only adds to the heartbreak for a day. They didn't say which parts of the wedding party were gone. The husband and uh, the wife could be gone. For a day of joy to end and such devastating losses, cruel indeed, our thoughts are with those who are injured, he said. So here's the Australia, New South Wales, Greta, near where it happened. Hunter Valley is known for its wine yard and native bushland, making it a popular spot for wine. So this is a popular spot. A fairy tale day uh, is what the guests called it. Until this occurred, we're all still in panic, is what the people are saying. They told Seven News, police said that they are still working to identify the crash victims and contact their next to kin. So people will be getting those calls. They'll know that their family members is out of here over a bus driver driving a bus. Who knows? Maybe they slipped this nigga some wine or something too. But something was off and he ended up, that damn bus ended up flipping over and these people lives were gone now. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts on this story coming out of Australia. Terrible story. At, at the end of the day, they tried to go the safe route to get the bus, you know, party on here and go home. So, you know, to the hotels, and it did not turn out that way. It's the NYA show. I appreciate y'all as always.